The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate the construction, inoculation, daily operation, and proper monitoring of a laboratory-scale continuously stirred anaerobic digester for the purpose of assessing the suitability of a given organic substrate for long-term anaerobic digestion treatment. This is accomplished by first constructing an anaerobic digester system. The second step is to inoculate the digester with active methanogenic biomass by establishing a suitable anaerobic environment within the bioreactor system. Then, the proper operation of the digester system is described, including effluent decanting, feeding, and troubleshooting. The final step is to introduce a monitoring strategy to assess digester performance and stability using standard analyses conventionally used in the field of anaerobic biotechnology. Ultimately, the results show the effectiveness of anaerobic digestion in treating an organic substrate for energy production and organic strength reduction through a well-controlled, regularly monitored laboratory-scale anaerobic digestion system. Many people that are new to anaerobic digestion process will find it challenging because you have to maintain an oxygen-free environment for the, the strict anaerobic biomass. Um, and also, users will find the startup period a little bit slow and tedious because it takes a long time for enough methanogens to grow uh, to develop a, a, a biomass concentration that's able to handle a certain organic loading rate. Um, but it should be known that if one follows the protocol outlined in this article assiduously, that these problems can be avoided. Uh, and finally, after stable digestion is uh, achieved, uh, you can start experimenting with these systems, um, but this can also cause problems for experimenters because it's, uh, we're working with complex biological systems that are very sensitive to external or environmental perturbations. Anaerobic digestion technology.